Hello, everyone. My name is Xiaojing Liao from Georgia Tech. Today, I will talk about uh, understand and detect bulletproof hosting on legitimate service provider. This is a joint work of Sumaya, Xianghang, Peng, and Professor Wang from Indiana University, Professor Rahim Bia from Georgia Tech, and Professor Devon McCoy from NYU. Fully pro hosting are hosting facilities that can store any types of content and executable code. Unlike regular host, fully pro hosting servers can primarily host malicious content like phishing sites, scan, fake shoppings, and command control infrastructure. Origin originally, dedicated bully pro host server itself could, provi could provide a bully pro hosting infrastructure and cater it to a malicious content, uh, to cater it to a malicious uh, criminals. <laughs> However, the high concentration of malicious content and the reputation for not to responding to the abuse complaints often cause this entire network of bully proof hosting service become blacklisted. This, incre this increasing pressure has driven many of the bully pro hosting service provider to transform the way they operate in order to evade the, reput the reputation-based blacklisting method. Bully pro hosting service are now establishing a reseller relationship with the reputable hosting service providers. These hosting service providers are often not complicitly in supporting the malicious behavior. However, at the same time, they do not investigate much effort in proactively detect these malicious activities. This reputable based service provider offer a good cover for the bully proof hosting service, allowing them to leverage the better reputation of the parent provider. Also, a mix of both the legitimate and bully proof hosting resellers Largely, pre largely prevent the blacklisting actions against the whole service provider. Furthermore, furthermore the, uh, black, the bully pro hosting service rent instead of own uh, uh, the infrastructure. These strategies will enable them to quickly move their clients when they are detected. Hence, Blacklisting the reputable service provider is not feasible due to a large amount of collateral damage. Also, blacklisted IP addresses are not, use, are not useful due to the ability of bully proof hosting service to move their client to a new IP addresses when they are detected. What is required is the ability to peer into the service provider and identify a set of IP addresses that has been allocated to the bully proof hosting. That's what we call sublocations. This will enable a mid-ground between the coarse gram AS level blacklisted and the fine gram IP level uh, reputable, uh, rep repu reputation based defense. Blacklist IP prefix sublocations will improve our ability to migrate these emerging bully proof hosting service strategies. To this end, we have created a set of methods to accurately detect the malicious IP prefix sublocations. We run the detector over the sublocations we found over a nine month period and detect 39,000 malicious sublocations to provide bully proof hosting, which relate to 3,200 ASs as a reputation platform and 230 million domains as the bully proof hosting clients. Based on these detected network blocks, we conduct a large scale study to, know, to understand the ecosystem of bully proof hosting service. Now, I will elaborate the design and implementation for detecting malicious sublocations under the legitimate service provider networks. In our research, we utilize a unique observation that the bully pro hosting service, even on the legitimate provider's network, need to intensively use DNS to support its, this mission. Hence, we build our detection technique on a top of 1.7 terabytes of DNS data that characterize, that characterize the bully pro hosting's activities. Specifically, 
we run the daily who is game of, of the whole IPv4 addresses spaces. And then we harvest the DNS record corresponding to the collected who is sublocations. Also, we'll, we'll obtain the DNS record by, access, by accessing a database collecting from IS security information executable program with thanks for, to share the data. Additionally, we collect a variety of reputable based lists for, for ASs, IP addresses, domains, and IP prefix for feature extraction and to support the training of our detection model. This effort also required a ground truth set of legitimate and malicious network blocks. This is hard to acquire since few of them existed. In order to overcome this obstacle, we explore a few options for collecting the representative ground truth, such as directly purchasing hosting package from the Bullyproof hosting service. Once the data is collected, it goes through our processing pipeline. We first build a network block hierarchies to find the sublocations and their owners. After that, features are created to chain a classifier. For example, we use new features to find the signal of bulletproof hosting. Uh, for example, we uh, we use the new features to find the signal of bulletproof hosting service, who utilize a front-end proxy to evade detection. More specifically, we calculate the daily domain chain. Intuitionally, the client hosts on the bulletproof hosting service are much less stable than those on legitimate hosting service. This observation is captured by the domain chain feature. For example, the sublocation of a bulletproof scan hosting has its clients come and go quickly. Our approach is based upon a set of new features. These features are summarized over our analysis of a massive amount of data as well as the ground truth we purchase. Of particular interest is the observation that some DMS features such as domain chain cannot be easily evaded by the bulletproof hosting service provider due to the reliance of their service on DNS. Now I will show our study on the modern bulletproof hosting ecosystem. Our study reports 39,000 malicious sublocations distributed around, uh, around 3,200 ASCs. Also, our, our study presents new observation of how this service operated to evade detection. Firstly, we look at the role the service provider play in the ecosystem. Overall, we found that 50 service providers account for more than half of the detected sub-allocations. The ASs with the most detected sub-allocations was PitchTech, hosting 7% of the detected sub-allocations. Another highly ranked AS we detect in our dataset is VPS chain, which we detect 37% of its sub-allocations, hosting many abusive short light domains. These domains host brute force tools, scans, and a long list of other abusive activities. Then we study their degrees of potential completeness by measuring a recycling rate. It captures the magnitude of network blocks turnover in effort to clean up their IP addresses space to avoid AS-based detection method. Interestingly, the AS we mentioned before, such as VPS chain, has a recycling rate of zero, which they did not make any effort to clean up the IP addresses with a large number of built complaints. On the other hand, AS with a highly recycling rate, mostly data centers, will actively move around the malicious uh, sublocations between a few owners. Next, we look into the owner of the detected sublocations and trace their host hosting movement over multiple networks. We highlight the method they utilize to evade detection by spanning their infrastructures across registries and ASs. Table lists the, uh, the owner's object man managing the detected sublocations. 
We found a number of owners spending ISs or even registries. We also found a willing, uh, overwhelming number of who is objects per owner, which with a, 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 which with a, a average of eight objects, making it more difficult to blacklist their who is objects. We study the clients of the BP, uh, Bulletproof Hosting Service by analyzing the complete set of domain hosting on, the, on these detected sub allocations. We found that 50% of the blacklist domains are used for distribute malware, 46% of them running the Bonnet command control infrastructure. Also, we found 1.6 million of domains have migrated between at least two sub allocations. When checking the client's movement between the sub allocations and sometimes even bulletproof hosting services, we found the network movement enabled the domain to survive for a longer period. Table five shows, uh, this table shows five selected domains between, uh, hopping between at least 10 sub allocations and last for months. On average, we found the moving domains to help three detected sub-allocations while enjoying an average life of 6.7 months. Now I will discuss some of the limitations of our method. First, our method has a detection latency because only have enough uh, ma malicious activities shown in the DNS dataset, we can extract the feature from it. Next. Um, um, the sub-location extraction process in our, in our method is depending on the accuracy of the IP who is data set. If the IP who is data do not show the uh, allocation file, such as organization, then we cannot uh, extract the sub-location accurately. Third, we will leave the bulletproof hosting on cloud as our future work, because the who is data cannot extract the sub-location um, of the um, of the cloud hosting accurately. In conclusion, in our work, we show the common strategies for bulletproof hosting, and we present our method to show the detectable using external data and machine learning to detect the bulletproof hosting. Also, based on our large-scale uh, detected sub malicious sublocations, we study the ecosystem and show the effective technique they use to, ev to evade the existing blacklist. That's it. Thank you. I'm agreeing to take any questions. Come on. We have time for a few questions. Right, then I'll ask one question. Um, so how do you, what's your guess or idea of the, of the stability over time of, of these results? So if, for example, if you would have done the study two years ago or mm -hmm. if you were to do it three years in the future, would you think that we would see similar results or would they, the, these bulletproof hosting services behave totally differently? Yeah, we, we, we saw the evolve of the bulletproof hosting ecosystem and the strategies to host this uh, bulletproof hosting evolve. And they, use, they used to use a dedicated bulletproof hosting service, and now they use the reputable service providers. And, um, and uh, this evasion technique is what they focus now, and it's what our method captured. Yeah, if they uh, if, if they more involve their methods and may have a more a dedicated um, uh, evasion techniques, I, also, I think it's still rely on the DNS data and our method could still capture uh, features from it. Any guess on what they might be doing next? Yeah. <laughs> All right, thank you. Let's thank mm -hmm. the speaker again.